Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will talk about what are the expectations of ethics committee. There are many important statement of general principle of ethics, which we need to understand. These are very important to understand and then incorporate in our protocol development so that ethics committee will not raise up any query in your protocol. This includes essentiality. The topic should be of interest and should there should be a felt need for that topic in the scientific committee. Then voluntariness. Every participant should be voluntarily involved in the study and they have all the right to participate or not to participate in the study. Then non-exploitation, social responsibility, ensuring privacy and confidentiality at all levels, risk minimization, then professional competency of the principal investigator of the researcher is also very important. Maximization of benefit to the patient, institutional arrangements to take care of the smooth running of that research project, transparency, transparency and accountability is also very important for the part of principal investigator. Then totality of responsibilities should be taken by the scientist who is planning this research and environmental protection protection is also very important whenever we plan a research. So what is PI? PI is principal investigator, the person who is coming up with the idea and taking up a team together to do a quality research. He is responsible to ensure good ethical practice in research. So what are the ethical issues in research which ethical committee will raise whenever they will document or whenever they will look into the protocol which you have submitted. First is benefit risk assessment. Then second is whether the study group is vulnerable group or special group. Compensation for research related harm which can occur to these patients or to these individuals. These are the points where ethical committee they are very vigilant. Then what payment you are giving to giving for the participation of individuals into the research. Ancillary care whether it has been taken care of or not. What is the conflict of interest involved in this study? What is the informed consent process you are utilizing? How you are taking it? Then privacy and confidentiality of data which you are collecting. Distributive justice whether all are getting benefit equally or not. Community engagement in community research is very important. Post research access and benefit sharing is also which has been looked into by ethical committee. We will go one by one for these all points to better understand what components and how, what are these components and how.